right? Paper number three, essay discussion. Question number one, first one, an object started with an initial velocity u moves with an acceleration of a to the velocity of v by covering the displacement of s during the time of t. Then you are asked to derive those four equations after drawing VT graph for the motion, right? VT graph. This kind of one. The drawn graph should be like this. And that here, we have to note initial velocity u, then After a certain time, like this, here time is t, velocity of t v, and the gradient of this graph should be represented the acceleration and area covered by the graph should be the displacement and let this angle theta. Right. If you draw the graph by, by labeling, this one velocity and here time, at least V and T should be shown on the axis. If so, give one marks. If you have shown the axis, give one marks for showing the axis. And second thing, straight line with the intercept, give another one marks. Give another one marks. Right, and indicating the data, especially V, U, and T, right? That's enough. At least three symbols are shown on the graph position. Give another one marks. Three marks available. Okay, then. Identification of the equations. We are considering gradient of the graph, tan theta, gives v minus u divided by t, gradient is acceleration, then v minus u divided by t, then at equal v minus u, then v becomes u plus at. This is the first arrangement of the motion equation. And second thing, considering area of the graph, area is covered by the displacement area of the trapezium would be the distance from here to here v, here to here u, right? Then it should be v plus u divided by 2, multiple by t. This is second equation. For the, when you rewrite this one, we have to write by considering area. By considering area. Area to be identified as the displacement covered by the object, right? Okay. Second thing, clear. This one, okay. And this one, okay. Third one, we can substitute the value of V instead of this V from second equation. From second equation, this one, we have S equal. Instead of V, we can use u plus at plus u multiple by t divided by 2. It becomes s equal twice of ut divided by 2 plus at squared over 2. Then s becomes ut plus half at squared. See, this is third motion equation. Last one, from first one, we have to write T becomes V minus U divided by A. And from that one, we have to use the second equation next. Then it becomes S equal V plus U divided by 2 multiple by T. T is this one. T replaces by using this one, right? 
Okay. Then final answer. We have 2a is equal v plus u, v minus u. Then it becomes 2a is v squared minus u squared. So we have v squared equal u squared plus 2a is. This is the fourth motion equation. That, right. These are the der derivation of the motion equation. Right. Marks. Right. Like this. When you identify the gradient of the graph represented by acceleration, give one marks. Gradient represents the acceleration, give one marks. And identifying the gradient as v minus u divided by 2, give another one marks. Next one. By considering area, area covered the displacement, identification of this one, give one marks. Sorry, give two marks. Next one. Subjected one, substituting substitution to the second equation from first one for this line u one marks. Sorry, u two marks. And last substitution of this one with this one u another two marks. But final answers should be written well according to the basic. Entertainment, right for that? Okay, then. You have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven marks available until completing part A, right? Okay. Can we check next one? Okay. An object starts from rest, initial velocity zero. Most by 10 kilometers with an acceleration and then 30 kilometers. with a constant velocity at the end of the acceleration, finally decelerates by 20 kilometer distance and comes to rest. Finally, velocity becomes zero. The total time taken for the whole motion is 90 minutes. Then we can note that here to here, let it T1. Here to here, let it T2. Here to here, let it T3. Then total time duration is mentioned 90 minutes. Then we can say 90 minutes divided by 90 minutes, right? Then first one, find the time taken by the object in the acceleration, constant velocity, and during the deceleration, what is the maximum velocity of the object? Find the acceleration and deceleration of the above motion. But then we can convert 90 minutes time taken into hours by dividing 60. Then we have 0, 0 cancel. 2 times here 3, 3 times here 2 and 3, 3 by 2. It's 1.5 hours. If we take like that, by considering our representation, we will have the final answers in hours, 
and the final velocity or maximum velocity with the unit of kilometer per hour. Yes. Or you can say 10 kilometers is 10,000 meters, here 30,000 meters, and this one is 20,000 meters. According to that one, time taken in minutes should be converted to seconds, multiplication with 60. That is also correct, right? Both the units available for your calculation, no matter. Mama kilometer per hour only had a matter lazy kilo as the basic data is mentioned in kilometers and 90 minutes easily converted to hours, half uh, one and a half hours, right? Okay, then at the configuration today, we can say, right, first thing. It's better to copy this kind of graph to indicate data. It's a simple velocity time graph. Here V, here T. First, we have acceleration. Second, we have constant velocity. Last, we have deceleration. And Time taken from here to here T1, here to here T2, here to here T3. Area covered by the acceleration just 10 kilometers. That this one is 30 kilometers. This portion is 20 kilometers, right? Then put it, it's easy to identify this velocity like V. Then we can write here. This area represent 10 kilometer equal half into base one is T1 and height is V, no? It's V T1. Then you can say T1 equals 20 over V. Same as that, we can say here area is 30 kilometers equal length into V, V into T2, then the rule T2 becomes 30 over V. That's cool. Same as the last one, we can say area is 20, is covered by the area of the triangle. Triangle is having height of V and the base of T3. It's V T3. Clear, Buddha? Then T3 equal 40 over V right. Then, according to the basic theory, you can say T1 plus T2 plus T3 equate 3 by 2 or 1.5 hours, right? Then, respect to the identification on the graph, we have T1 is 20 by V. That's 20 by V plus T2. We have 40 by V plus T3, this one. Thirty by V, and last one is forty by V, right? Equal three by two. Then we have here twenty, thirty, fifty, and forty is ninety. Divided by V equal three by two. Here three one thirty. V become sixty kilometer per hour, right? Done. If you mention this one as first one. Here, second one, and here, third one, we can substitute separately from first one. Can I have? First one represents T1 equate 20 over V60, 20 of 1, 3, T1 equal 1 third hour, O. One third hour or 0 0.33 hours.
This could be the final answer. Right. If you have identified in meters per second, this value should be converted to meters per second multiplied by 1000 and divided by 3600. Okay, right. And this one is also same today. If it is now in our calculation, we have hourly value. But if it is second value, right, this could be multiplied by 3600, right? Okay, no matter. Both the math methods correct but you have to mention the perfect unit with the final last okay and from second one from second one we have here t2 equals 30 over 60 it becomes half an hour t2 is 0 0.5 hours then two decimal places should be considered for the final answer. And for the next case, we have T3 equals 40 over 60. It's 2 by 3 hours. Then answer is 0 0.66067, no matter, is the final answer. This could be the way of taking which one? First one and second one, right? Okay, can you copy this one if you have some errors for that? Okay, first thing, identification of this area, identification of this area, U1 marks, Identification of this area, give another one marks. This so this anywhere, give one marks. And identification of this area, give another one marks. Evaputa the meters per second rolling around the Nakati, Evidia Lakunuga and Prashna and Nehari. Right. Okay. Next one. You have to consider this line, time taken like this, identifying this one, give another one marks, anywhere, right, no matter. Anywhere, if you have written this kind of statement, give one marks. And for the substitution, for this one from the other values, give another one mark. And for the final answer, 60 kilometer per hour, for this case, give two marks. Okay. Next thing, identify this Time taken for the acceleration with the substitution give one marks. This is 0.5 hours give one marks. This is not the final perfect answer, right? Ratios are not considered as the final answers. That's what. And here we have another one marks. Right. Okay, next case. Find the acceleration and deceleration of the above motions. Acceleration here. We can say acceleration equals acceleration equal this base over this base, no? 60 over time taken <clears throat> One-third of hours, A becomes 60 into 3, 180 kilometer per square hour. And deceleration is this gradient. 
deceleration becomes gradient of this one. We have 60 kilometer per hour divided by time taken, it's two third. Right. Here, two of one, here 30, it's 90 kilometer per square down with the perfect unit. No matter, you can keep the final answer in meters per second, meters per square second, with the correct way, then you will have full mass. Right to that? Okay, then. Okay, give one marks for the identification of acceleration and identification of deceleration. Okay, next one. Find the average velocity. What is average velocity of the object? Right. Average velocity, we can find Average velocity equal total displacement over total time, right? Total displacement covered by the object is 10 kilometer, 30 kilometer, and 20 kilometer. Here, 30 plus 10, 40 kilometer, and 20, 60 kilometers. Total time taken here, one third of hour, here half an hour, here another one third of hour, two third of hour, half, and here one third, or one and a half hours, right? Then 60 divided by three by two, three, here one, two, it's 40 kilometer per hour, right? Tuning a kai with enter. Forty kilometer per hour. Right. Give one marks for the substitution and take another one marks for final answer. Right. Next one. Draw VT, ST, and AT graph for the above motion. Here we have velocity time graph. Give one marks for that one. Okay, next one. Displacement time graph. Can we have displacement time graph? Displacement time graph. First, acceleration. Next, constant velocity, straight line. And last, deceleration. Last, deceleration. Right. If all the lines are perfectly shown, you one marks for this graph. Okay, next one, acceleration time graph. Acceleration time graph. AT graph. First thing, acceleration. Second step, constant velocity. And third, deceleration. Right, it's better to show the values if you have known, right? If the known values are given at here, 10 kilometers, 
at here 30 kilometers, then it should be 40 kilometers, and last at here 60 kilometers, right? Time taken. Eva Lakulu Karano and Hondai Harry. Now make it in my itchery of Balan the hair. Here another half an hour. One by and until here, it's three by two hours. It is not essential to label the data, then shapes only needed one. First acceleration, constant velocity, and deceleration. Give one marks for this entertainment. And let's see about last one. They need draw the variation of resultant force and time graph for the above motion. Resultant force. Resultant force again, time, right? It's like this, no? First thing we have acceleration. Acceleration, we can say F equal M A. If we have an acceleration, F directly proportional to acceleration. You know? To maintain the acceleration, force should be supplied towards the moving direction. Next, to maintain constant velocity, no need the resultant force. If there is no resultant force, constant velocity can be maintained. The line parallel to the line along the time axis, there is no resultant. And last thing, deceleration. If you need to take the deceleration, then force should be applied backward, right? Then resultant force is backward one. Right, to indicate this one, you one marks and to indicate this one, you another one marks. Two marks available. Now you have 30 marks for the first essay question. Right. Okay. Right, Buddha. Can we check second question? Okay, second is a question. First one, write Newton laws of motion. First one, an object remain at rest. Underline remain at rest. Remain at rest. O moves with a constant velocity. O moves with a constant velocity. Underline constant velocity. On a straight line. Underline a straight line. Unless an external unbalanced force acting on the object. Unless an external unbalanced force. Unless an external unbalanced force. Okay, but if you wrote perfect statement, you won marks. Three marks for. Perfect entertainment of Newton laws, right? Second one, the rate of change of momentum is directly proportional to the rate of change of momentum is directly proportional to external unbalanced force acting on the object. External unbalanced force acting on the object. Give another one marks. Third one.
third one every action has equal and opposite reaction right give another one marks then three marks available right roman 2 derive a equal ma by using the above laws then you have to see f directly proportional to mv minus mu over t you have to write this statement next we have to write k mv minus mu over t then you have to say k equals 1 then f becomes mv minus mu over t then mass is the common factor v minus u divided by t now you can say f equal m this is the way of derivation of the equation can we copy this one okay first thing you should write this one you one marks for this one and next identifying this one you one marks then ogolo kauruari kene metane indannan derive karanna anan feel me proportionality ekka entertain karana wata wata lakuna nathu yan hari right you can to take the marks from here if you didn't write that one right okay then finally you should identify this one as the acceleration after writing this one you have to say f equal to me First thing, you should identify V minus U over T represented by acceleration. Give another one marks to here. Not for this one, for this one, right? Okay. That's the way of taking the marks for the derivation of F equal in right brother. Can we take part B? Part B, two masses, four kilograms, six kilograms are connected by using light inextensible string as the following figure. Find vertical acceleration and the tension of string at the upper and lower ends. Let's see. Two masses are connected by using light inextensible string. Here we have applied force 120. Four kilogram here, then weight is 40 newton. Tension at here, let it T, at here T, and this weight is 60 newton. Clear? Right. First thing, identify the acceleration, applying F equal M A.
Right. Can we take the marks? Okay. For the substitution of this one, give two marks. And for the answer, give two marks. And find the upper and lower tensions, then apply F equal MA for four kilogram. Only for four kilogram. Here upward we have 120, downward 40, and downward tension T equal four into acceleration two. Then T becomes 120 minus 20, 120 minus 40, 80. 80 minus here 8. It's 72 Newton. And the lower mass, F equal MA towards upward for 6 kilogram, upward T minus 60 equal 6A, A is 2, T becomes here 12 plus 60, 72 Newton. Okay. You are asked to find both the tensions now. Then we have to say upper tension is 72 Newton, give one marks. And lower tension, give another one marks. Right. Done. Can we note this one? Okay, next one. Part C. Now the string is replaced by heavy rope of mass 2 kilogram and the vertical applied force is changed to 144 Newton. Right. Can we note it? Now another... Rope is mentioned. The rope is heavy one. Upward applied force is 144 Newton. Same as the previous weight, 40 Newton. Here weight is 60 Newton. Done. Right. Here we have tension T. Here tension T and here we can note the weight. Weight is 20 Newton, right? Okay, then finding the first thing vertical acceleration of the object. Applying F equal MA towards up. Upward F 144 minus 40 minus 20 and minus 60. Equal total mass 4, 10, 12, 12A, right. Here we have 60, 100, 120, 144 minus 120. We have 24 equal 12A. A becomes 2MS minus 2, right. Give two marks for this substitution. Give two marks for this acceleration. Right. Next. They need find the tension at the upper and lower ends of the string. Lower end, we can apply a sequel in me. towards upward, here T for this one, right? 6 kilogram 
only for 6 kilogram T minus 60 T minus 60 equal 6 into 2 then we have T equal 72 Newton for the lower tension is same as previous 72. When we consider upper tension we have F equal M A towards upward only for 4 kilogram. So we have 144 minus 40 minus T equal mass is 4, acceleration is 2. Then T becomes here 144, 40, 104, then minus 8, it's 96 Newton, right? Then upper and lower tensions are having difference values. Are they clear, Buddha? Yes, done. Then give one marks for finding upper tension and for this one, give another one marks. <coughs> When we apply F equal MA for this one, we are using only for this case, P minus weight 60, right? Equal 6 into 2. When we use only this one, we have to apply 144 minus 40 and minus T only, right? We are not in use with the mass of the rope. We can apply F equal MA only for the rope like this. If you consider this one is the rope, the rope does have the tensions like this. No? Then let them T1, T2, the T2 already found for the lower case. Then when we apply F equal MA, only for the string, only for the string, upward we have T1, downward we have T2 equal 2 into acceleration is 2. That's it. By using that process, we can identify the upper tension of the string, right, for the Right. Both the processes are okay. F equal MA for the lower one and the upper one. Right. When we use F equal MA only for upper one, we don't use the values related to string, right? String's weight is not included for the application of this and this separately. Right? Okay. Uh, on this case, substitution should be here. We have 20 Newton weight, upper T1, minus 20, and minus T2 equal m2 into 2 right okay then t1 minus 20 minus t2 low 172 equal here 4 anyway you have one marks for upper tension and lower tension okay next one Find the tension of the midpoint and one fourth of the length from the lower end of the string. Can we write that? At the midpoint, tension at the midpoint, we can say upper tension plus lower tension divided by two. Right. Can we simplify? Asuhatarai Newton. That's it. Right. Give two marks for this case. And next thing, you are asked to identify the one fourth of the lower end of the string. One fourth of the lower end of the string, like this. If this is the total length, you are asked to find. One fourth of the lower end. At here, we identify the tension as 84 Newton. And lower end is 72 Newton, already found one. At the midpoint, right here, 
Then we can say 84 plus 72 divided by 2. That's all. Right then, Hatarai de Kai Hai Atai Hatai Pahalo Ekasi Panasai de Kim Beda Hatai 78 Newton. That's why you two marks to identify the final parts. Okay. Right, finish. Can we have next one? Part D, last one. Now the above 4 kilogram and 6 kilogram and the heavy rope are placed on the smooth plane by applying the forces. Heavy rope, Puda. So this is having 2 kilogram mass, right? You can't remove that one too. And applied force is 48 Newton. Find the acceleration of the masses, then you can apply tension here, T and T. Applying F equal in me towards horizontal, it's 48 minus T plus T equals 6 plus 4 plus 2, 12A, right? Then 48 equal 12A, A becomes 4, MS minus 2, right? Can I have two marks for this case and two marks for this case? Okay. Find the tension of the string at both the ends. Then apply an F equal in me. Only for the top mass, first mass, 4 kilogram. So we have F is... 48 Newton minus T equal mass is 4, acceleration is 4, T becomes 48 minus 16, it's 32 Newton. Can I have one mark for this one? And for the other tension, only for 6 kilogram, can I have F equal in me? F T minus 60, sorry, C my T equals, only for this case, right, T equal. 6 into 4, T becomes 24 Newton. You one mark for this case. Right. And the last thing. I explain the consequence motion of each object if the rope is released from both ends. Both the connections at 4 kilogram and 6 kilogram. Ketien jiwat lanu ayinkaro. While they are having the motion, if the string is removed, ring string what will happen? Consequence, so explain consequence motion. Right, this will be accelerated with the greater acceleration than the previous one. Apply an F equal in me for that case as the force is available, 48 equal 4A, A becomes 16 ms minus 2. It is accelerated with more acceleration than the calculated 4ms minus 2. That's okay. Give one marks. Explain. No? Therefore, no need to calculate. But if you have the calculation, that's better. And no marks for just having the calculation, right? You have to explain. You have to explain that, right? Okay, then done. Next case. What about this one? 6 kilogram? Yeah, it will maintain constant velocity. Won't be at rest, right? Won't be at rest. It never comes to rest as the smooth plane, Buddha. Right? It is mentioned. Applied the force. Now 6 kilo place on the smooth plane. It is mentioned perfectly here. On the perfect smooth plane, if they are having the motion after obtaining the certain velocity, if the applied force is removed, it won't be at rest. It is maintaining the constant velocity. You know? Six kilogram mass maintaining constant velocity. Give another one marks. Then two marks available. Right, Buddha? Okay. That's it. Can you put the final marks? About 30. Number under total, out of 60. Okay.